but that's why you don't want to reach zero rubles because then you can't buy anything and it just becomes sad and hard for nothing because you have to make an extra step of actually making money and then humbling yourself so just start humbling yourself right away if you have like half a million or a hundred thousand humble yourself first take these these items that you need and go into combat Okay, so we are the Lonely Scav. We have about 15,000s worth of a loadout. 20,000 if you count this, but most of this will stay with you if you die. So we're going to load in like this, and we're going to take a look at different maps, starting with, oh, starting with a phone call. Yes, hello? Yes. We're back on track. So we're going to do a interchange with this setup. Let's go. You want to ensure everything that you use all the time? How much did that cost insurance? Like 2,000, 3,000? It was almost nothing. The goal is to get better gear, <clears throat> drop that. And if we die, we're going to get it back anyway, because nobody's going to pick us up. They'll, they'll look into our, our stuff to find like things that we might have kept on our body. And then they'll, they probably won't take the gun. They don't want to mess with just selling that gun. They don't want to mess with having a bandana in their, in their inventory. They don't want to mess with having a sling. That takes way too much space. They'll never drop anything they have for that. You know what I mean? So we're just going to get all of that back tomorrow if we, uh, if we ever die. So even though it's costing us 15000 right now, the truth is if you keep getting it back and insuring it, this build only costs 3000 So there is an argument to make where you do spend 70,000, including the Paka <clears throat> armor, with just stuff that nobody will pick up because it's the, the smallest stuff that you can buy. Insuring all of that, and you're going to get all of that back. The insurance might cost you about 15,000, <clears> and you're going to get most of it back. The truth is, at, when you start, you don't have any money to buy any of it anyways. So that's why we start with this. And then as you kill scavs, you'll get their gear, their zook, their paka armor, little helmet maybe that nobody wants, you know, backpacks, small backpacks. You're going to insure all of that when you feel comfortable going into the raid with it and losing it. Or when you want to change things up because of this. And you're going to get most of it back because most players aren't going to spend the time to loot it or the space to, to, to make the money for that because it's not worth it. And so the truth is you don't need to spend at all to get to the next version of this as you're going to get it from scavs, as you're going to get it from playing a scav and getting out and just insuring it and keep re getting it back and reinsuring it. And keep getting it back. And you, so you understand that process. All in the meantime, you're going to be going into the game. Lo looting some cage. Getting out and getting that extra money through that means. Extra money through that means. Extra armor through the scav kills and the scav leaving. Playing as a scav and leaving. You'll notice also that this side of the mall compared to this side of the mall has way more cages. So we're going to go through this side more than this side. Because you're going to get either of these extractions to leave. 
right? So you're going to have to go through either here or here. And so the route that we're going to take will be much more this or that. Okay. Let's just learn about them here. There's only a few here. If we could, if we pass by, I'll show you. They're really simple, really easy. There's only a few. So this is a great route. The only real danger are really strong players in the middle here fighting the boss. If you can do all of this before they're done, or before they're done looting the mall, which has much more valuable items, that's actually debat debatable. But much more valuable spawn item locations, probably in the mall, and they're mostly in there. Well, we scrubs go around the place and loot and get out and actually make more money every uh, minute <clears throat> than they do because they'll die to other players too. That's not up to debate. All right. So we spawned at the checkpoint. The checkpoint is here. It's called a checkpoint because it's a road checkpoint. It's a roadblock. So that's a great place to go around. If we spawn here, on the right is this way. On the left of the mall is this way. We're going to go that way. Sometimes when I uh, I have missions here, depending on the spawn I get, I will go either in the mall to do my mission, or if I spawn really far from it, like I don't really have a chance to go kill like Killa, for example, if I'm too far, I'm going to change my route and make a loot run instead. So there was a stash right here, this one next to the big rock right here in front so you'll know the place there's a big rock in the middle that one is a stash but for the sake of time we're gonna go around so the two stash that are coming up are right here <clears throat> next to this wide camp area there's one just behind here. PS ammo, you would use those. Paracord, that also goes for some some amount of money. But maybe you will want to take the Esmarch and the Bindage out. You can bind them to four and five. Make the paracord here. Or even the ammo. Because even the ammo is worth more than these splint. Because these are like four to five thousand dollar items. Keep going. We'll find better, better things. Next one is here. You'll notice that it's got a grass cover okay. panel. Open it. What do we have here? Oh, another paracord. It's pretty lucky. Yeah, I think we're going to take the cheese out and the splint. Keep the paracord in. SPP ammo is actually really good. I think it's the top ammo for that kind. So we would keep that. <clears throat> You'll notice we're already full. That's why you might consider bringing a bigger bag if you're familiar with the cage. But the first run you're going to make, you're going to find them for the first time. You're going to be watching my video and be like, where does he go next? Where is that bag? What? Where is that? We got a bag here. Duct tape. <clears throat> So what's nice about Map Genie is you can find the bags. You were at this bag, and there's another bag here. The bags are really good too. And you can also point as to where the scabs are. So a lot of scabs in the mall. There will be some on the way out also. We're going to keep those marked. We want to know where the scabs are. We don't want to run into them. And once you're familiar with killing scavs, then you do want to run into them because you want to take their gear and their guns and their armor. Next one is here behind 
this kind of parking lot in the middle. But this is the kind of parking lot. But saying there's one behind it. Let's find it. it here in the bush. It's often like close to a bush. Above the road. This is not behind enough. This is more behind here. Let's see. Is it here? Well, there's one here. But it has to be the one. Because the other one after that is behind the other lot. Which we haven't passed. So th these are all items for the hideout. You'll know when you need to take them. Take the slicker bar. I think that goes for the money on market. We'll take it for now. All right, next one behind the other lot, this lot. By the way, I'm turning my head with mouse wheel button press. Press the mouse button and you can turn your head. Here it is between the trees. That's this one. We got a bear cap we could put on. Chocolate we would normally save into pouch a secure container as you can change chocolate for let's hide here for a minute you can transform chocolate in the hideout for sugar and sell that on market because it's crafted <clears throat> what we're going to do now I'm just going to throw this liquor bar out Gonna make some space. Put a splint out. You can pick it up after. I'm gonna put the paracord here. Keep the chocolate. Because if I know I can transform it into sugar, then this thing is worth what it's worth on market, which is 37 to 40,000 rubles. Which is more than paracord. And paracord at first will be worth 100,000 because players need it for an important trade for a sick case. But you, if you want to sell it on market, you have to keep it anyways. Out of raid. And not die with it. I think the vendors will give you 10,000. So right now as it stands, if vendors give you 10 for this. And give you a little more for that, you would keep that. It doesn't really matter. We're just discovering. If you want. I will keep the ES ammo. Because this is the kind of ammo that you might choose to use with an SKS. Pick up the splint. We have the splint. Cheese. We're good to go. Next one. <clears throat> the next one is in the field a little bit. Right? So I think it's near a tree. If we look at the map here, we can see that it's, if you if you go along this road, kind of following that road here, right? So that's the road. We want to be <clears throat> in front of it. And here it is. So these are good. Right, if you would have a bigger backpack, you could put that in. They would go for a hundred thousand or something. Let's take the splint out and bet that we're not gonna get a broken bone, broken leg on the way out. The extraction. We're gonna put the bandage out because I can actually run to the extraction even if I have a light bleed. We do have cheese to heal ourselves a bit. We just got super lucky with like paracord and stuff. What else do we put out? You know, I'm going to throw out my magazine here because it's worth, because I haven't fought yet. That's only worth a thousand. Put this here and keep the ears.
Another thing that I like to put on myself is a scav vest. A small vest that scavs use have a lot. And so if we kill a scav, I'll show you. And these are the vests that nobody wants to pick up because they're, they're too small for them. Uh, anything on this road? I don't think so. <clears throat> We're also really visible. Let's go back to the, the woods and stuff. All right, next one is this one here, and it's in front of the panel. Panel. So we'll go to the panel here. A big sign. I'm gonna keep some energy to jump over the rails. They're not really that high. And it's in front of that tree right there. That blue area is an area with special loot. You have to turn on the power to get there. But some players do like to come there. This has been looted already. That's interesting. So maybe like a player spawned nearby. Kind of knew that this was here. And on their way to the mall, looted that. We also haven't heard shots coming from that side, from the scavs. That would have told us that a player would have crossed there. We also haven't seen them on our way coming here. That's why I think they're in the mall. Now here is a little um, spot that can have really good items and food items. Uh, if you like to go around and do more spaces, the bus is pretty good. There's some chocolate, there's some stuff. Sometimes laying on here. you stay here you're a little bit under you're kind of covered another bus you could go through let's do that now it is to say that we are taking more time than normal because i'm explaining it but if you could end up doing this fast then there's a lesser chance of players to get out of the mall and try to extract and we're, we might just fucking see one as we uh, as we extract here this one is this one just before this calf camp shit bullet shit cover shit bullet we're gonna go through this calf camp just because I want to show you caps. We just saw one in front of us right there. Take cover. In the face. You shoot them in the face. I think there's another one. Now that is going to bring some attention to us. There he is. You can't loot the body unless he's dead. Oh, he shot me straight in the face. So I jumped and he came to me and he shot me. I had no armor. So we're going to see if he shot in the face, in the head, or the chest. The head. All right. With a good round, a strong round. Most helmets are not going to save you from that round. If you don't have a face shield, whatever the bullet that hits your face, your eyes or your jaw, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take out the 35 health that you have anyways, and it's going to kill you instantly. And so that's the tricky part with scavs. They can get lucky, you can get unlucky. Some missions will ask you to kill some scavs. I would recommend that you get better at it. So here we could have chosen to leave with what we had, which would have been a fine, a fine choice actually, because we were full of stuff. But we also didn't didn't get like extra weapons or extra armor, so it was also a fine uh, hold to try to kill them and get their gear. You know? So it's all a matter of how, where you. Um, it's all a matter of where you find that it's it's something that you want to do or don't want to do okay 
<clears throat> That's why these tutorials are mostly done offline, because you can do the whole thing in one shot. But uh, we're simply going to go again. So, <clears throat> you want to heal your whole body before you get here, but at some point, you have access to a grizzly, which I really like. Because they will uh, heal everything that you have in one swing. My favorite heal everything item with. So we died and got a paracord. Let's go check what it's worth. A chocolate that we can use to craft the sugar. That's good to keep. And PS ammo if you ever need uh, <clears throat> these bullets. Trading. Paracord, I think Jaeger wants those. No. Chocolate, as you can tell, not worth more if you just sell it to vendor. It becomes much more worth on the market, let me show you. On the market, it's worth 30,000. Who will take my paracord? <clears throat> 13,000, right? So you would sell it here. The ammo we would keep. And let's go back in. Gonna buy a PM pistol, some PM bullets. We still have some. Let's buy an extra magazine. Pistol. Normally I buy like three of those. Just let's go already. <clears throat> but that's why you don't want to reach zero rubles because then you can't buy anything. And it just becomes sad and hard for nothing because you have to make an extra step of actually making money and then humbling yourself. So just start humbling yourself right away. If you have like half a million or a hundred thousand, humble yourself first. Take these these items that you need and go into combat. One of these, gonna unload. Gonna take our extra one here. Gonna fill that with a um, a bullet. Boom boom. Going in, you can put one in a chamber if you want. We're looking for a sling. Um, we're gonna take our meds back. Bandage, cheese, lint, and as March. Talk to Ragman. Level one. Take our sling back. This can put something on our head. I prefer to put something on our head. Maybe uh, if you loot some scavs, you'll get some Momex. They are looking nicer. Uh, you can always check with Ragman and just take the first thing. Here's a cap. 2000. That's really a personal choice if you want to, uh, to cover your head. So what do you think looks better? This bald head, right? Or this? Is gonna cover yourself a little more. Go back to interchange. The time here <clears throat> later, but there's still a lot of players. Ensure everything. It's all gonna come back tomorrow. We did all of these. Now we're going to see where we spawn and maybe we're going to do these or even these at power station then come back and do these. You can skip forward if you want to, uh, to go there. I might skip forward.
So say you're at like zero money. The question is like, okay, Charles, I actually made a mistake. I'm at zero money and I can't buy a gun. What do I do? Well, then you take a scav. You take a scav. You go into a map that you're familiar with. So you can extract, right? Then sell the things that the scav had. And you've made 50,000. You've made 70,000. Now you can rebuy this. Five times, four times, right? Three times, four times. Where's the problem? But it's just that most players don't see the step that has to be taken. You know? Just to do that. That's one step. Or maybe you still have, like, the initial gear that they gave you. M4, A1s, and commandos uh, stuff just sell all that sell all of that you're not going to use that until like a mission is asking you to use it you know that's it make like 300,000 no time and then load in with the humble bundle hmm <clears throat> I'm really making this tutorial for, for these people, you know, the people who reach zero money, they're going in with a hatchet and they're pissed. You know what I mean? They are tired and pissed. They don't get it. They're, they don't know what they're doing wrong. And what's wrong with bringing an AK and a class four armor and a huge backpack and the whole thing is costing them 150,000. And this setup is costing 15,000. I really make a... <clears throat> not a distinction, but <clears throat> a correlation with, with poker. If you've played poker, you know that you're not going in with everything you have every hand, right? You're going in with a little bit. Sometimes you're going to put a little more, but it's still going to be a small portion of everything that you have. And so that's what we're doing here. We're, all, we're always going in with a small portion of what we have to play with. Oh, great. So we've loaded into the scav camp. If we double tap O to look at the extractions, it's asking us to go to the checkpoint. Sorry, I can't show you. The checkpoint is where we started last time. We're going to do that. But this time we're going to go around like this so I can show you the rest of the H. So because we load in the scav camp, there's actually almost no chance for there to be a scav here. I've noticed that players load in where scavs are, there won't be any scavs. So we're actually continuing on our road now, this way. And we have a small piece here that may have something useful in it. Nothing special, okay, continuing. We may see players cross over the road here someone is spawning this way we might also come across one player who knows about the stashes that's okay that's normal that's why we load in with 15,000 as we look into a stash and get headshotted first stash Wow, this is good ammo. We're going to take the Esmarch out, put it in. Teapot goes for a good price with vendors, like 30000 Now we're going to do this. Find these for five. PS ammo. <clears throat> Pretty shit ammo for this caliber. The, but other types of, of caliber for PS is really, is really fine. We're not going to take them. 
If you look on the chart, 545 PS is pretty shit. Next one is, I believe within the trees before this year. I think it's like a, a round one. Yeah, there it is. Like in the middle of this patch of trees. Here. So BP ammo for this is, I think it's okay. We'll bring it. I don't remember. SNB is also good. Ammo. I'm going to drink this. Caps can be sold on market. They're just a bunch of cap capacitors. Not that interesting. We'll find something better. Next one is within those rubbles. So these grenades, these are players fighting in the middle of the mall. Last cage before the train exfil. Airing. Nails are used for crafts. They can sell on market for a good, good price. Fine. Rip stop. Nothing special. Airing you can take because you want to. You want to trade uh, some food items to get the food storage crate. Heard something. This is the other extraction at the other end of the map. Called the Railway Exfil. Oh, we forgot about these two. Let's do them. <clears throat> there could be a player here waiting for players to extract. So if we die, it's because of him. Last two ones are past the turning point of the rail. Look on the map. The rail turns and turns again. And it should be really close to that. Here it is. Let's do it again. Wow, bunch of stuff. So here we could drop the cap, the bear thing, and take this one. That would be free. We have an AK. The gunpowder is good. The action is a fine bullet also. <clears throat> Honestly, if you've done all this by now, you should probably extract this thing here too. A good helmet. I'm going to drop the cap. Take the helmet instead. Is that going to be worth something on market? EBM are the rounds for this gun, the good runs. The good ones. But they're worth like 300 each, so 16 times 300 is like 5,000's worth. It's okay, but most of the items we have are worth more at this point. But I would normally take them. Keep going. So this is not the extraction that we need. We have to go around, but I'm showing you the cage. Now that's a dangerous spot to be in. Like this is not the route you want to take, right? Because now players are coming to extract and you're literally in their way. You know what I mean? Plus you'd be running a lot slower than this. Super dangerous. I'm just going around the map to show you everything, but you understand that your route will be straight to the extraction. We're not going to do the whole map like this, right? Every time. All we want to do is take a few cage, fill our pockets, get out. Little bus here. So this is just on our way here. Oops, excuse me. Cage. And scav, stand boss bus we're just gonna go through look for things here nothing special 
a lot of food items, some bullets sometimes. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and you'll notice that there is a sign for scavs here. There literally can be a scav here. Some players like to check this ambulance. There can be meds here and there. But I find that it's not that often. All right, first cage is right here under. You have to crouch. It's like the most dangerous cage, I think, because you can't uncrouch, you're stuck. Nothing special. BP, I think, is okay. Again, very dangerous areas. Players like to uh, crouch here, camps, wait for players to get out of the building to try to extract over there. Next cage. Right here. This is this cage. Bolts are good. I'm gonna drop this band-aid, take the bolt. Bolts are used to create your hideout and there are also items that players need to craft with all the time, so they're good items. Now you'll notice on the map that there's one right over there, but I'm not getting into that fence. It kind of boxed in, so you can just give it up, you know. <clears throat> now here, if I would do like a killing scav mission, you know, I would go into the mall like this and you can tell where they are. But as we go outside, we're going to go check the power station. There's two cage I want to show you. And then we're going to get out to the checkpoint. There might be scavs at the power station. Here you can take a wide if you want really further there's absolutely nothing here absolutely nothing if you look at the map there is absolutely nothing maybe if I enable other things I would see other things but there's no cage that's just inside see what all this running that we're doing this is really good also to to um Level up your endurance skill, or if you're training your weight using a um, documents case full of SAS drives and a heavy rig. Ah, uh, that's what. And and taking that damage also is is not a bad thing. That levels up your. Vitality and stress resistance. Like, none of this is bad. And so he hit me in the chest ooh, with a strong bullet, the 855A1. These are the kind of bullets that players use to kill other players at first. So we would apply here. <clears throat> I'm just kind of used to moving on. I'm going right back in, kind of showing you the other two or three that we have. But like, yeah, here's another reason why you don't want to take this route. There's scavs here. There's like one to four scavs. And there's barely a cage. These are the kind of cage that if you spawn here, you, you want to check them, you know? So we died with AP bullets. We would like to sell them on market. They go for a really good price. You know what I mean? 2,000 a bullet uh, times 44. That's 100,000 worth of bullets. So knowing which bullets are interesting for the market, this being the best bullet in that class. Oh, that's good to know. The teapot sells to... 
This lady, she loves exotic items. 29,000. So basically with, with, with this item, we can now pay for two of our setups. Right. We're going in again. M load. I'm gonna buy another one of these from Prepper. And and maybe you don't want to buy another another one of these. Maybe it's it's just faster. You unload, take your bullets, load, um, get your meds because you need your some some kind of meds. Pretty cheap to lose meds. It's not a problem. and a backpack so you you could go like this but the issue is we can't put something that's a two slot into anywhere unless we have some kind of backpack and I, I'm really in love with the sling I've been using the sling for uh, off two months easy it's cheap it's so cheap that it's free you know you can literally put stuff that is two by two or one by two. I mean, a two by two, like fuel will sell for a good price. A lot of, a lot of one by two items that good for a good price too. Water filter, powder. You can also fit a car battery, which is used for some quests. So if you do find a car battery, you can put it here. Surf kits will fit here. Ammos, whatever. Yeah. So let's just go like uh, like that here. I'm gonna heal. You haven't healed yet. You talk to therapist. What does she have to sell? This is fifty thousand. No, no, no. Level one. You would maybe get a Salawa first kit. You need to heal. So healing will cost you 10,000 about every time you die. So you also have to factor that in your costs, right? Or you let him heal up and use a scav. By the time your scav is done, he might be healed. But I just factored that in. Go back. There's going to be a much later time. You'll notice there will be less players. Because most players are actually at the other time, which is 7 in the morning. See, they're coming in here to populate. We're going to do later. We have more than enough time. Insurance is cheap. Go. So, I mean, yeah. Doing all of this doesn't need to cost too much. Right? So 15,000 for the setup. The gun. Extra. The, the ammo. The extra mag filled. The meds. Maybe a little bandana, a little sling. 15,000. When you die, you need to heal all that. That might be 8,000, 10,000. So the whole thing might cost you 25,000. Right? So having the ability to loot quickly and get out quickly is going to pay for all of this. And you're, while you're doing all of that, you are learning the map. You're also gathering quest items, which you can then use to give to the traders that give you these missions or build your hideouts right you can do a whole month of this this kind of stuff it doesn't need to be this map we'll be doing other maps after this <clears throat> if you're interested in another map just come with me with uh, your guy get in the game maybe offline just follow me along In offline mode, and then you'll you'll be good. <laughs> what did it mean? 
sun is uh, shining. It's June. Get ready. What an iconic screen. Hopefully we spawn at power station. That would be quite lucky. No. So we spawned uh, right here next to <clears throat> the highway. I would do the bus normally, but I'm just here to show you. We're going to do the tree stashes here and then move to the power station. Well, where hopefully we get to kill the scav. Control click takes your takes these things with you. Flyers are not used unless you need it for a mission. They're useless, oh, they're worthless. This bus you can't search, it's yellow. Sometimes you'll see players move into the mall here. That's not for us right now. <clears throat> Rip ammo might sell on market if you have access to market. We're not doing the other cage right there. Because this is a great entrance for uh, people who quest or even players who want to fight the boss and other players. We're just going to move out of this particular area. Not particularly more dangerous it's, or, or hot, but it's part of a highway system that is, you know, popular. I'm gonna check the bus. Crowd should take some more time. Then. Nothing here. Moving to the power station. So the nice thing about going fast is that the scavs might not have loaded. Scabs will take five minutes to load before. Some scabs will load with you when you start. Now here's <clears throat> gonna be a possibly dangerous spot if someone loaded in. If you see scabs, there's a good chance a player did not load here. If you don't, it could just be empty because the server is empty because the time is late. Or a player came, did his things, and left. All right, so the top of power station is a stash. It's right here in this bush. Special, some peas. Right next to the truck if you want. This is an extraction. You also bring money to take it. chance that's a good sign player was not here probably we're gonna take his mask his beanie his weapon his crowbar maybe if it does more damage than what you already have scav vest I search his pockets I'm gonna take a quick look at the power station because there can be some really good items. Keys here. Got a lot of PC blocks. Here can be some good stuff. Some G phone. HP drive. You can find graphics cards here. Uh, the beard oil, which is a collectible item. Soap. Got a filing cabinet, but I wouldn't mess with it. This is where the power is for the mall. You also have three toolboxes here that you could go through. I think you're alone. Two coats there. Another one inside, I think. It's a fine loot area. Now we're going to change to this weapon. Because it's got more powerful bullets. They're bigger bullets. They hurt more. Alt-T. 
show you where your mag situation is and what kind of bullet you have. So half a mag of 30 rounds with T45 is okay. I think this box here might have uh, something to eat. I don't know why it's always have a lunch box in it. The next stash under the power station, if you look on the map, is right here. It's really calm here, right? You can tell if players are coming. What is that? It's a big rig. I'm gonna trade our rig for that rig because it's better and it will sell for more money. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our extra ammo here. And then we're gonna put things that we don't care here about. Like that. Gonna empty that. Now this scav vest, you press R, it turns sideways. Goes into the sling with all these things. We can take this and put this here. Right? That way we're saving our scav vest that we found. We actually have more space to gather more things. We're moving south. By the way, I recommend players have a compass. I did hear something. I don't like it. We're going to move away now, quickly. Because we don't want to lose this. You know, we want to keep this. We're going to be running away. The thing is, I have like extra speed and extra all of that compared to other players i do run faster but um hey if he does end up fucking catching up to you and shooting you try to get some cover and shoot and then run keep running extraction here without backpack you just drop your backpack and get out if you're willing to do that all the hole in the fence you can see it in the map <clears throat> Keep an eye behind. We've heard something. But we're gonna make our way south now. We keep south. We go all the way behind here. We're really keeping us covered. Now, there could be players here. Kind of watching that that side of the mall. It's kind of a waste of time. But yeah, some players like to camp some spots you can jump here sometimes a player here rarely again just a big waste of time if they're here but it does happen so we're moving this way the checkpoint and there's one cage here that I mentioned in the start of the video where did I say it was Near a rock somewhere. And if you look on the map there, which is here, there are scavs here. They can be along this route, and this road here. Last cage. This is the last cage of the map. Bullets. Helmet. We'll trade the beanie. Take the untar. Take these guns. That's great. Two more weapon system. Amazing. Three. We're making our way to the checkpoint. Good to keep an eye on this side because players might be coming from the uh, that side to the checkpoint too. Sometimes you get players camping here inside here, but it's really trash when they do. You kind of drop here. You can move your mouse. Get not get shot. <clears throat> So even though last run, like we died twice, and this one we survived, we made so much money in this run that's going to pay for not only the past two runs, which were already paid for, by the way, with the, the vase, <clears throat> but we're going to now have much, like six, uh, six more builds worth of, of loot. <clears throat> Let's go in vendor debt all right 
imagine you don't have a thing. So we have two more weapon system. <clears throat> We're going to keep this one. We're going to vendor everything under this line here. Batteries, the bullets. These are sniper bullets, really long bullets. You're not going to snipe, trust me, until sometime. The G phone. These are extra mags for this but we're just gonna vendor it you would normally unload like this and keep the bullets that way if you have a weapon that can use the bullets i'll know it because they light up this is a big rig you know when you compare this to like a scav vest it's much bigger but they'll also give you more money for it so what do you want to do? You want to bring this big rig and possibly lose it two out of three times? Or do you want to sell it? Right. The helmet we can sell, mask we can sell or keep because we do like coverage. We're going to keep it. We do cover part of our face. Let's go sell these things. So we start with therapists because she'll give you more money for for them. So all of this can go. There's already sixty three thousand, mostly because of the beard oil, which is just a collectible item. You don't need to keep it. You'll find more. So here's sixty three thousand. Now if we go to Ragman, sell. It'll give me 27,000 for this. That's two bills worth of stuff. 13,000 is one bills worth of stuff. We can scale the scav vest, but it's 2,600. And the beanie, but it's only 600. We're going to sell these two and keep those for, for our bill. So 40,000. So we just made 100,000. And now what we can do after, after a while bring a scav vest with you and maybe a beanie now you're really covered I'm gonna go into the same map not at night necessarily we're going to ensure all of this and nobody is gonna pick this up <clears throat> nobody wants this you're all gonna get this all back for only 1,300 or 2,000 ruble. You get my point? Nobody's going to pick this up. Nobody wants any of this. It takes too much space for nothing. Going to refuel our gun, make sure our meds are good. And we're good to go. You'll notice I only had one bullet left. If there was a second scav in the power station, I was in big trouble. So maybe it'll be worth it to bring another one of these. I think eight bullets is not enough. Like some pistol will give you 17 bullets, 20 bullets. So we just, uh, we just go back and ask Prepper for one more. Really cheap at a thousand each here we keep that put some bullets now we're gonna be good to kill two scavs and leave cool now if we if if he had a, a body armor we would also bring it ensure it and you're most likely going to receive it back and that's it for interchange outside interchange yeah All right, let's check the other videos where if you have another map you'd like to run, run it with me offline or online, mostly offline, just so you know, then run it online when you're satisfied with it.